everyone, this is Godzilla Wolf 1 with a toy review. Today I will be reviewing the Auxiliary Tracks Eagle Guardian R Power Rangers RPM figure. Now, interesting thing, from what I've checked on YouTube at the time of this recording, I'm one of only two people on YouTube that have reviewed this. The other, I think, being Sound Out. I don't know the rest of his name. I'm going to link this as the video response to his, probably. Um, anyway, uh, and yes, the Eagle Racer does not come in this set, but I thought it kind of fit the idea that this is the Red Ranger and all that. Just wanted him in there. And this kind of shows some scale as to how big this set is compared to your average Zord. So, let's get him out of here. He's not part of this review. Well, actually, yes, he kind of is, because I think this is supposed to have something to do with the engine cell. I'm not sure. There's probably some description out there. But I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the packaging. Which is, of course, partly ripped open, so I can't can't let it hold on its own. Uh, you got your the Eagle Guardian, Guardian mode, vehicle mode, which is the dumbest thing ever about this figure. Um, and then the Beast mode, Power Rangers RPM. I like that logo a lot. Then the Eagle Guard, you know, the name down here. Um, there you got the three core rangers, and I like this a lot actually. It's a sticker that comes with it of the red ranger with his street saber. I kind of like it. I wish this was a trading card though instead of a sticker. I'm because I, I don't want it to get messed up when I try to pin well, it. I want to keep it. Um, anyway, there's the eagle guardian. Lion Guardian, Wolf Guardian, and Shark Guardian, and here's the gimmick that comes that is with this. Um, you see, you, there's the, you got the uh, the racing cycles that come with this, um, and you can combine them with this to give it some nice um armor and all sorts of stuff. I kept it in frame. Sorry about that. Which is kind of cool. And then over here, you can combine the tr Formula Transporter, Eagle Ray Racer, and you can combine them and the armor to form this. That's the whole gimmick with this. You can power up these things with various other gimmicks that come with it to form a more powerful vehicle. Which I think, unlike the one that came with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord, which is extremely stupid, and I don't know why they did it, um, this one, I actually like the gimmick with it. Anyway, let's start with the Power Ranger himself. And something I'd like to point out about this is this, to me, seems like what the battle, uh, battleizer they could have put in the show. He's got this nice, stylized symbol on him. Head sculpt's basically the same as your normal one, except they didn't paint this over here. I don't know why. I understand on, I think, like the full throttle version, they didn't paint this because something would cover it up, but I don't see why on this one they didn't. Anyway, um, if there's one complaint I have with this guy, it's his lack of paint apps. I mean, on the back, really not painted at all. I mean, sorry, but that that's something that I'm going to have to bring down this figure a little bit. Anyway, let's get into posability. Arms move 360. Got a hand swivel. Head swivels, but the head joint is kind of tight. And of course, my lighting needed to be. He's got a head. He, his head can turn, but it's kind of tight. Um. Anyway, on his legs, he's got a really nice hip joint where you can get some nice length length out of that for some nice kicks. A really good knee joint, surprisingly. I mean, it's only one joint. It's not a double joint. Still got a nice range of movement out of it. Um. And he's got an an his ankles move back and forth circular. Now there is one big complaint I have on this figure. I mean yes he's lacking in a ball, he could have used a ball jointed neck, could have used a ball jointed ankle, he could have used those things. He could have helped a lot but most and most Power Rangers toys lack those joints. One joint that I really see no excuse for them not having is an elbow joint. He has no elbow articulation. And that is a real shame. It could have helped a lot of his poses if he'd had just had an elbow joint. Any kind of elbow joint, like an elbow swivel right there would have been nice. A, a jointed elbow would have been nicer. 
But oh, but that's my biggest complaint about him is that. Well, let's move on to the armor in beast mode in his animal mode. Nice clear orange plastic looks very fiery. Has a nice tail. I show you how to assemble this, but the joints here. I think Santa also pointed this out. The joint, the ball joints on here are bigger than the slot they fit into on the legs. So while the legs move fine once they're on there, there's a big risk of breaking them, getting them on and off. So I'm never going to remove these ball joints if I have a say in it. Really nice golden paint on his head. The gold paint I really like. It adds some degree of interest to this. Though I wish there was more of it. I wish they'd like painted more of the main body it, instead of giving it this solid orange pla crystal plastic. But it's not a bad name for plastic. I just kind of wish there was more gold detailing. The wings and tail are different, and anything that detaches from this were painted different because they're a different type of plastic. They're molded different. This is like, I think they call it PCP. I don't know what it's called. I know this is ABS plastic. I think. I'm not a plastic enthusiast. I don't know much about plastics. Anyway, and now on to the part where this thing gets real dumb real fast. The vehicle mode, which I think is pr even dumber than what they were trying to do with the Megazord. Okay, you take the wings off, reattach them by a side peg, take the pop the tail off, and, and you see that's one thing. It doesn't hold together when you use this joint. Normally, it's not that bad. It holds together really nicely. But when you got this in, it doesn't really work. As you can see, there's a gaping hole in his mouth. Um, and then you slide that in there. And there you have it in vehicle mode. Yeah. He's supposed to, this guy's supposed to be able to ride this. I'm not going to do it because, frankly, it looks absolutely stupid. Stupid. I mean, that's the biggest thing I have against this figure is that quote-unquote vehicle mode. Other than that, this is a per this is a really nice figure. I love it. But that vehicle mode, it's just so stupid. I mean, yeah, a kid might believe it, but I don't. So I'm going to convert this guy back into his animal mode real quick off camera. Um, okay. Now, obviously, like I said, this is what I think the Battleizer should have been. Like, this be Mode 1, and then the Mode 2 be combining with this. Okay, and how I'd envision it, like, this thing would fly over, its tail would come off, and you can probably guess already what the tail would be, and then he catches the sword dramatically. It's the first time he'd, like, look it over and comment on how awesome it is, and then hold it upwards, calling the vehicle... You know, calling the animal thing, whatever you call it, and fly over dramatically. Um, you split that open, this comes down like so, and then it would dramatically fall down on top of him. You gotta push it into two holes in the back. That holds on there pretty tight, actually. Then you just need to move the wings up into position. This, do this is surprisingly does not make him that topple heavy. I mean, I thought it would, but it doesn't. Um, so, and one thing, is the directions say leave them down here like so. I prefer to put, to move them up like, like this so that they're not down there distracting. It looks kind of cooler like that, in my personal opinion. And I like it. I think this is probably much better than those dragon figures that they tried to put out for Mighty Morphin, which... You couldn't really display the rangers in a ranger mode. It d at least it doesn't look like it. Just looked kind of dumb in the ranger mode. Um, but the dragon mode looked really nice. But that's not what Power Rangers is about. It's not about them turning into dragons. This, on the other hand, uh, this looks like something that could actually be in the show. It looks like a battleizer to me. I mean, I can imagine this swooping down and slaying some poor monster. Yeah, and, and you know, as I was saying, this is, looks like something you'd see in the show. This looks like a battleizer you'd see in the TV show, and I really like that about it. I like that this looks like 
a Power Ranger thing. Those battle eyes dragon things that came with Mighty Morphin, they did not look like Power Rangers except for the helmet. I mean, they were just so deformed. The only real, I mean, well, without this armor, he still looks like a Power Ranger. Oh, yeah, he looks really awesome with the armor, but without it, that's still the Red Ranger. I mean, the only diff the only change they made for the transformation were the feet. That's the only change you have. If it weren't for that, he'd be he'd still be the Red Ranger, just with a little armor upgrade. Which is what I could see. I could see it being like the ST SPD Battleizer, and in this being first mode, then this is second mode. Which gives him a huge boost in power and less in smite evil. You know, I could see it as something you'd actually have in the show, not just as a stupid toy that they added. And I personally think that if they did have a battle eyes on RPM, this would be what it would be. Okay, well, anyway, enough of me spouting about what I think about it. I think it's a great collector's item. It looks awesome on a shelf. The only major downside it has is it needs some more paint apps. And, of course, the lack of elbow joints. But if you're good with paint, you could fix the paint, the missing paint apps. I mean, all I could say is, put, is make these shoulder pads silver, add some silver down here, and add some silver to the back, even if you're not going to see it most of the time. If you do that, then it's going to look really awesome. Well, maybe paint these up here black, the wheels on his head, paint them the right color. But I think it's a really nice toy. I definitely recommend this, especially if you're on the fence about it. I think it's a really good toy, looks great right on the shelf, and I think it's pretty good. Well, anyway, that's been this review. I hope you enjoyed it.